think you look better without makeup? It's probably because you're just bad at doing your own makeup. It's back to school time! Well, not for me. I haven't been to school in years. But it is officially September. This is the time of year where everyone is going back to school. We are going to be breaking down your everyday go-to clean girl makeup routine. This is the makeup that's going to suit the non-makeup wearers. The people that hate the feeling of having makeup on their skin. The people that don't have a lot of time and they want to get ready but still look put together and presentable. I'm literally only using six products in this video and I'm going to take you through step by step how to make your skin look glowy but also make it last this is the video for you okay let's start off with our skin prep i know you hear me say in every single video but your skin prep is the most important step of your routine especially on the no makeup makeup days because if you're not wearing much makeup then your skin needs to be on point i really like this glow balm for misha it is a really nice kind of whipped formula on the website it's actually described it as a serum and a moisturizer and a primer in one i really like this cream especially underneath makeup because it gives your skin such a nice glow in the mornings i'm looking for something that's going to give a punch of hydration and give me that kind of glass skin effect i'm really taking the time to really push in the moisturizer because you can have skincare without makeup but you can't have makeup without skincare whenever i'm in a rush and i don't have a lot of time to get ready i like to stick with two in one products i'm going in with an spf from naked sundays this is the cabana glow mineral glow serum drop it's spf 50 and it has a little bit of a tint to it which is nice i like that this has a little bit of color to it i wouldn't necessarily say that it gives you any coverage but it kind of just evens out your skin tone it's a very sheer product so you don't have to worry about using a brush or anything like that just literally blend it in with your fingers it's fine look at the glow that that gave my skin it literally looks like i drank 10 liters of water if you do have more oily skin or you can't find your shade in the naked sundays fenty beauty also has a really nice tinted moisturizer i use shade number three however this does give slightly more color coverage which is nice so depending on what you're after that day and how natural you actually want to look okay now we're going to move on to my favorite step which is concealer concealer is the most important step to me because i got breakouts okay my skin is not flawless i've got a lot of redness going on so i need a concealer that gives me coverage however finding a concealer that doesn't look too cakey but gives you coverage that is the hard part. I'm using the Multitasker Concealer from Rimmel. Then you want to take a synthetic brush like this that's quite small. And I'm just going to blend this in wherever I have a lot of redness, which is mainly around my nose. You want to start off with minimal amounts of concealer. I know there's like these no makeup makeup videos where they're not applying on foundation, but then they put concealer all over their face, which basically kind of counteracts the idea of a no makeup makeup. When I say no makeup makeup, I want it to look like I'm actually not wearing makeup. I want it to look like my skin is just glowy. I don't have no pores, I don't have no blemishes. A lot of concealers, when they are too full coverage, you kind of see where the line kind of starts and stops or where your concealer is. But this concealer from Rimmel is really nice because it gives coverage, but you can really sheer it out. It's good. Okay, yeah, this is what my skin looks like. You can see it's overall even and it's really glowy, really radiant. I kind of do this makeup whenever I have friends that's got to come over and I don't want to look like I just rolled out of bed. I just put on a little bit of concealer, a little bit of my SPF glow drops, and I feel like mm, my skin just looks so plump and healthy and juicy. Okay, now if I left this makeup without setting it, it just will keep moving and keep sliding throughout the day. So I am going to go set my makeup with a powder. However, the trick is when it comes to powder is you want to choose a powder that just lightly sets your makeup. So I'm not going on about like baking powders or loose powders. During this time, you just want to lightly set the skin. So the powder I'm going to use is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I'm trying to use as much affordable makeup as I can in this video. That's actually good. If you want your no makeup makeup to actually last, then you kind of need to set. Remember to blend out any creases before you set anything with a powder. And you will notice that I'm using only a small tiny brush like this. And the main areas that I set whenever I'm doing a no makeup makeup is just underneath my eyes, especially near the inner corners. This bit, you kind of want it to be matte, especially around this area here where I have a lot of pores, I have a lot of redness around my nose, so I've used a lot of concealer there. This is the area that you really wanna mattify because no one looks good with shiny cheeks here. You can leave the shine here on the top of your cheeks, but near the apple of your cheeks, just by powdering that down just a little bit, it just makes you look not as oily or greasy. You can see when I'm applying on the powder, I'm just lightly pushing it onto the skin. I'm not going in with a big brush and buffing it all over because that's when you make your makeup look 
like you wear makeup again when you've powdered all over. I also like to powder my eyebrows as well because I don't know why they get so shiny. I still feel like my skin looks really glowy, but just slightly toned down with the shine in certain areas, which is what I want. Okay, so this is the makeup that you can just leave as it is. You can literally run out of the door and put a little bit of a lip balm on. But I do like to take it a little bit step further if I am trying to go out and I still want, you know, some sort of science light on my cheeks. I really like this color from MAC Cosmetics. It's called Naturally Flawless. How fitting for this makeup video. <laughs> this is a really nice peachy, almost like a warm bronzer kind of shade. There is two options when it comes to this next stage. You can go for creams, which will look a little bit more natural, will give you more of that glow. But I just find that creams, one, they take a little bit longer to apply, and two, they don't really last throughout the day. If you didn't know, blusher is the first thing that fades throughout the day. This one just adds a little soft flush to the cheeks. I like to also put some on the bridge of my nose as well, just to give my face a little bit of color. Just taking the blusher and just dusting some on my eyes in my crease. I just feel like it just makes everything blend in together. Brows is the worst part of my makeup routine. And honestly, sometimes it takes me a good 10 minutes per brow if I'm doing my full-on routine. But obviously, we are in a rush. So during this time, a tinted brow gel is going to be your best friend. My best friend and I love you. There are so many tinted brow gels out there. My personal favourite is the Thick It Stick It from NYX. This brow gel, it actually has tiny little fibres in here so you're really able to kind of push up your brows and make your brows look full, bushy. I am a bit lacking in the brow department. I have had to have my eyebrows tattooed. So the main thing is I just want to get the colour back on my brows just to define the shape a little bit more. The main thing is you don't want your brows to look too heavy. I've done the mistake before where I've tried to do like the full on laminated brow but when you're not wearing a lot of makeup it just looks kind of weird if I'm honest just adding a slight tint to it filling in any gaps on your brows that is the main goal here just go in with a flat brush just take away anything that I might have touched the skin that I'm like oh it looks a bit messy this brush is just clean so I don't want it to look like I've got a carved out brow okay now for my eyes I do not do anything crazy at all but I am going to go and curl my eyelashes because you still want your eyes to look you know big and glowy you know, not droopy so my little trick to keep my eyelashes staying up all day is to go in the lighter and I literally just run this along sure you touch it before you go straight in because I have burnt my eyelid before and then now I literally just push right by the base of my eyelashes and then I don't fully release it I kind of go bit by bit so that the curl is like curling like this and not like you know? Please tell me you notice the difference, okay? I feel like this side of my face looks so much droopier. As long as you curl your eyelashes, that is what's gonna make your eyes stand out. When it comes to mascara, I actually prefer using brown mascara. I feel like whenever I wear brown mascara, it just makes everything look so much more natural. It doesn't look too harsh. Can you just see, just by applying on one coat, it doesn't look like, oh, she's wearing like spidery eyelashes. By the way, this is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. <laughs> Controversial opinion, but I actually don't think that you should be spending more than $20 on a mascara. There's so many amazing drugstore mascaras these days that I'm like, any more than $20, you're wasting your money. Okay, now for my lips, I don't want to go in with anything too faffy, like a lip liner. All I really focus on is hydration and maybe just a slight bit of colour. So my favourite products are the NYX Fat Lip Oils. This is basically like a lip oil and a lip gloss had a baby. I haven't tried the NYX Cosmetics Fat Lip Oils yet. Please try it. I've been using it for years. It's such a good dupe of the Dior lip oils and they have so many shades. This one is in the shade called Supermodel. Your lips look better kind of shade. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go in and just set my makeup. Even though we don't have much on the skin, going in with a setting spray, just make sure that everything melts into the skin. Nothing kind of keeps slipping and sliding throughout the day. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd actually like the no makeup makeup look. I feel like for me, I go two ways. On one side, I'm like a slab kebab, hair in a messy bun, crust still hanging out my eyes. <laughs> or on the other side, I am full glam, taking three hours to get ready, doing a full coverage beat down. And I feel like I finally mastered that perfect in-between sweet spot where you still look put together your skin still looks flawless but it doesn't look like oh she's wearing a lot of makeup you know i feel like right now i can hug someone and i won't get foundation all over their shirt if you want to know how to make your skin glow with 
without any makeup i have filmed a whole video talking about how to lay your skincare products correctly that is actually the deciding factor on if your skincare products will even work or not so i'll leave the video here in next week's video i actually really want to do a whole routine showing you guys how i actually prep my skin for makeup the skincare routine that i do before i apply makeup is completely different to my regular skincare routine so if you like the sound of that video give this video a little thumbs up and i'll see you guys next week bye can someone please tell me the efforts that you're seeing on this YouTube channel, okay? She's slaving away behind the scenes, okay? Trying to get that YouTube channel up to 500k subscribers, okay? Hit, hit, hit that subscribe button. It's 3.99. Don't come here and not subscribe, okay? Try to come here for the free bread.